Hi YouTube, it's NG. Uh, I'm here again with uh, n n another little uh, rant. Uh, I've had the Samsung Galaxy Fold. Voila. For l about a week now. I got it, well, almost a week. I got on Friday? Yeah. I actually got it on Saturday. And I've been using it every day since. Uh, not really with the baby gloves and all that. I just use the phone how I use my, my phones. Um, just want to share my experience so far with it. I know there's a, a lot of YouTube videos out there about the Fold and how fragile it is or how durable this might be or that might be and so on and, and so forth. Uh, but uh, my view is just a little different because... I'm just your regular guy, and I happen to have a fold. So, um, the first thing, <clears throat> the outer screen. A lot of people are saying, oh, it's so small, and you can't get anything done, blah, blah, blah. You know what? Personally, I don't mind it at all. Yes, it is small, but you, you aren't meant to be on the screen for any extended period of time. I you use it to glance at a text when it comes in. Maybe even uh, respond to that text. Uh, change my song on my playlist. Uh, check my calendar if, if something comes up. Beyond the basics, the screen isn't meant to do that. It's just for a quick glance at your info. You whatever comes in, you take a quick look and you go about your business. That's the whole point. Um, people are trying to do all their regular phone uh, things with this small screen is just kind of ridiculous. And the main point is so small you can't do do anything. You're not really supposed to. You take a glance, you make a phone call, you might even take a a a picture. And you know what? It's great for taking a single picture boom you, you, you take your picture and you're good to go it works it works actually really well for what it was intended to be used for now when you really want to get into the nitty and gritty then you open up the device and you agree with a wonderful 7.3 inch in screen which is better than any other device for right now that is an actual phone uh, it works wonderfully so um, yes the screen is not glass it is a plastic polymer but because of this it can bend and as you bend ev everything still works you can do your Instagrams your e emails everything just better with this larger screen because you can see more of it now games great Movies, great. Any type of visual media you want to do with this device is wonderfully done. Case in point, Inst Instagram. You can do Instagram on this, or you can do Instagram on, on something like the iPhone. Now, you can see a clear difference in, in how much screen real estate you have now granted the fold is a very expensive device so it needs to have something there to make people even think about investing in this tech so early and I do think they did a pretty good job with what they delivered now there are certain things that uh, give me pause for example no headphone jack I consider myself an audio enthusiast as, as, as well as a tech enth enthusiast and I have been an uh, an average fighter for the return of the 3.5 millimeter jack is it going to happen probably not and with the devices like this coming coming out there's space for a headphone jack he just said no no it, why? Because they can give you. I don't know where, where I put it. Oh, here. 
One second. It comes with a pair of these. The Samsung Galaxy Buds. Now these are nice. I've heard better. But the fact that it actually comes with something to play your audio, that's, you know, that's a nice little perk. But um, the, back, back to the phone. The phone works. The phone works great. For what you want to do, I've had no hiccups. 12 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of, of storage. I've, I've downloaded movies, games, songs. I'm nowhere near done with filling this thing up. I edit videos on it with uh, Adobe Rush. And it's easy to do it here because the screen is just so large that you can see what you're trying to do. You can actually place your pictures and your video and your timeline and it, it works wonderfully. Um, phone calls are great. Um, it all just works. Larger screen, it's easier just to see what you're doing. And I think that's the whole point. Something this large as folk folds up and it goes in your pocket it goes away no need for a bag or a pocketbook or a purse or whatever the case m might be when it folds it, it's thicker than m most phones but it's more narrow too but see the pocketability as they call it is there it's n not hard to throw it in your pocket it's a little weighty compared to something like the iPhone XR Let's be expected. Look at the difference. There is a clear difference in everything. This is a thick device. Two screens, two batteries, five cameras, or six, seven, or three at yeah, three at the back, two at the front, two on the the inside. It's nuts, but it works. Do I think that it's over overpriced for an early adopter? For this early technology, truthfully, no. I don't. Do I think the price will come down reason reasonably? Yes. There's not a device you get unless you're really a phone enthusiast. Because I still find I use my Note 8 more than this. And that is for a few reasons. The S Pen. I'm an avid user of the S Pen. The edge screen where I have all of my apps and my notes and everything right there very easy to get to. This doesn't have the edge screen which they it has a uh, what's it called? I don't know what they call it but from the main screen you just pull from here and it has a little window where it has all kinds of nice little apps and things that you can um, throw into the side open more than one app at once. It, it, it works. So you can run your YouTube and while running YouTube you have your messages open then you can go in uh, again and I don't know open your gallery and you got like three three things going at once I have done that and not because I can it's because it was very convenient to do it I had my gallery open I was watching the Microsoft event on on YouTube and I was taking notes in notes while watching it and moving the, the pictures from from my gallery to my notes to, 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 to create uh, the workflow that I needed. It really did work. Is it an everyday thing I would do? No, but that day it helped me. And it's something I could do with the device. Other devices, you don't have that option, so it's always good to have options. It's things like that you're paying for when you go into a, a device like this. Yes, there's many caveats owning this device. You do need to be at least aware of how you're handling the device. It's not a note. It's, there's no out of the box for it. It's not a iPhone or a OnePlus. If this thing drops, it's likely you're going to do some damage to it, especially this in inside screen. It's not glass. It's definitely not glass. When you drop glass, it, it will break bad. When you drop this, it might tear. Um, Samsung does offer your first fix is 150 bucks to fix the screen, which is great. But every fix thereafter is 600. 
For 600 I could buy a whole new phone, and that is exactly what I would do. Because that's a hefty price to pay just to fix the screen. I think iPhones are similar in price. I think like four and change to fix a screen. I don't have any of the newer iPhones, and truthfully, I don't really break screens, so I don't know. But um, yeah, the Fold has been very good to me. I do enjoy using this phone. The cameras are the same as in the Note 10. Let's get get rid of that. And it, and it's a huge view view of, of Finder. Look at that. Do you see it? Uh, you see, I'm I'm doing this video on my Note. That's how much I I use the Note. It's a huge viewfinder. You can see everything, and with the same cameras as the Note 10, the pictures are clear, crisp. Uh, the colors are great. Maybe a little sat saturated if you don't do the pro adjustments, but you will not have any complaints with the camera on the device. Any of them. The notch, yes, it's bothersome, but you know what? Do you get used to it? Yeah. Does it cut off some of what you're viewing? Definitely. But if you guys use iPhones or any device that, that came out since Apple decided that the notch was acceptable in, in, in tech, you're probably already used to having those eyesores on your, your screen. This one, to me, it's not as in the way simply because it's to, off to the side and the screen is so large you're, you're not looking there anyway you do see it but you ignore it because there's so much more screen real estate to look at uh when you game again the screen comes in great you can pretty much do like i said any anything here let's say let's let's go into this real quick uh call I have my little game list come right 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 the side. I can do let's see uh Asphalt. Wonderful. Do you see that? It's great. Gaming on such a large screen is a whole other experience. video the same thing you're not going to get a better media, media device in this particular form factor not any time soon yes you could buy a tablet and so there's some very good tablets out there with some wonder full screens the iPads have the 120 hertz refresh rate at least the, the pros do um the s6 it, it is out I love that that tablet and they're all considerably cheaper than this thing but that's not what you're paying for. This thing is a fold. A tablet, you're not putting that in, in your back pocket. You're getting a bag to throw that tablet in. Unless it's an iPad mini, maybe that would fit. Maybe, if you have large pockets. But with this one, you, you go to view whatever you, you are, you, you're trying to view, and it, it works. Let's pull up, uh, just as an example, Netflix. Now, you you watch your your show here. I mean, look at it. There's not really any other device that you're you're getting this on. It just really works. And you just close it and you put it, you put it away. So, I like it. It's a, it's a step in the right direction. Um, I know in the future, the price will come down. There will be so many more of these, there's three more coming out this year alone all vying for a place in your pocket they want you to buy these things because it's really is the only place left for phones to go phones have been slabs of glass on glass with internal for years this one change it up a bit but enough that it's a whole new sector for mobile 
and that's what is exciting. Others will come, hey, they'll probably be better than this. This is a first gen device, make no mistake. This is first gen. You're paying for something that in a year will be obsolete simply because the tech will get so much better so quickly. They're working on it as we speak. So there's no doubt that next year at this time, Galaxy Fold 2 will come out and I, I'll be like, God damn it, now, now the screens don't tear. It's thinner. It's more power efficient. Though this does get some great bat bat battery life. It gets me through my average 12 hour day with power to spare. So that is excellent. Now, maybe I don't do as much YouTube watching or Netflix watching or whatever the case it might be as others. But for my daily use, this gets me through the, the day without having to charge it up. So, that's a plus. Yeah, but the G Galaxy Fold, great device. Uh, I can't really say anything bad about it. Not overly so. There are many caveats to it. But it's give and take. When you get something like this, you do your research. You know what you're getting into. And there have been no surprises for what it is. The screen on the inside is fragile. Yes. Be careful. It's not waterproof. Be careful. That's really what it comes down to. If you're an adult, before everything was waterproof, you were careful with your phone. This brings you back to that. Be careful. My OnePlus 7 is not waterproof. My Pixel 3a is not waterproof. I'm, it, it is what it is. Not everything has those those protections. With this one, the inside screen, nothing can be done. You, you can't put any kind of screen protector or anything like that. So it's called, you keep it closed until you have to open it and you be aware of what you're doing when you use it with it open. But aside from that, the Fold is a magnificent device. Most Exact phone I've had in a long time, and I really do like to get phones, play with them, give them back, play with them, use them, keep what I like. At two thousand dollars, this is the most ex ex expensive phone I've ever bought t to date. Will I buy more ex expensive phones? Pretty sure I will. That Mate X looks very interesting. The Mi Mix Alpha, the same. You know, these are things you want to hold and feel for yourself. And the uh, Microsoft Surface uh, Duo. There's no question. Though that's a glass on glass, not a foldable display like this, but pretty much the same concept. Yeah, so that, that's it really. Just a quick, not review, just you know, uh, a quick take on my experience so far with my Galaxy Fold. Uh, I, I think the device is definitely worth your time for what you get for that money, if you can afford the monthly plan or whatever case might be, it's definitely worth looking into if you're in the market for something different. We're different enough that it stands out from the crowd. Yes, you have your iPhone 11s and your Note 10s and um, Mate 30s, though I wouldn't recommend the Mate 30 right now. You, you can't put Google services on it any anymore. But there's devices out there that aren't as fragile as this but they don't offer what this can offer so that's the trade-off so that's it for now that's my little rant on the galaxy fold and this is uh ng and this is what i'm into